Welcome back to the End Time Remnant YouTube channel. I am Dorothy. Today is February 14th, 2023. It is a little after two o'clock where I am and I wanted to take a couple of minutes to say hello, right? And just encourage those of you who may be struggling on today because first and foremost, I get it. I get it. I understand. I know, all right? If you are single, male or female, on today, it can be tough. It can be tough. You are bombarded unless you are blind and you literally cannot see. You are bombarded with reminders of what today is really all about for the vast majority, right? It's about um, being coupled up. It's about um, receiving, you know, gifts. It's about fine dining. It's about flowers and candy. Um, and it can be tough when you're single, especially when you've been single for an extremely long time time but here's the thing okay I want to take a couple of minutes to encourage you to remind you that you are a daughter of God that you are a son of God and first and foremost you have access to the greatest love every single minute of every single day you are lacking nothing okay if you have not already get into the prayer closet talk to the Lord, express yourself. You know what I mean? Some of you are feeling some type of way. You feel like the Lord has forgotten you. You feel like you've been waiting for a really long time for the Lord to send you someone. Talk to him about it. Talk to him about it. Talk to the lover of your soul on today, right? Number two, after you spend time with the Lord, spend time with you. Spend time with you. There are so many people who are desiring to be in a relationship and they don't even take good care of themselves. Practice self-care on today. What are you going to do for yourself on today? How can you show yourself some love and some grace on today? Let me tell you something. Social media is a beast, okay? And on today, there are going to be tons of pictures and videos posted on Instagram and Facebook and every other social media um, platform there is of people, right, who are propagating a narrative that couldn't be any more false. Oh, this is what my husband bought me. This is what my wife bought me. This is what Boo got for me. This is where Boo took me, right? February 14th, Boo went all out. But February 15th and for the rest of the year, no, you're not going to get that type of attention at all, okay? Do not throw yourself into a full-on depression comparing the reality of your life to the false narrative that these people are propagating all over social media. Please hear me well. Okay. Not everybody is miserable. I'm not, I'm not a hater, right? There are some people who are totally happy in their relationships, but let me tell you something. There are a lot of people who are not. Their relationships are ungodly. Their relationships are miserable, but you would never know based on what they post all day and all night on social media. Do not compare your life to other people in due season. You will have what it is that you desire, but you will not have a knockoff version of it, okay? What you are waiting for is God's best, and you should be very willing to wait for God's best because the alternative is something whack, something that you have to go on social media to hype up because it is so corny in real life, okay? Wait on the Lord. This too shall pass. There are only a few hours left in this day. It's just a day. And for many of these people, it really is just a day. It's one day out of the year that their loved one actually bothers to do something for them. I hate to put it that way, but it is as true as the day is long. A lot of these relationships lack the type of romance that Valentine's Day seems to bring out. Okay, they will go the remainder of the year without feeling wanted, without feeling loved, without feeling honored. And that is not what you are. That's not what you want. Anybody envying that at all. 
Do not allow the enemy of your soul to make you feel like you are missing out on anything. Okay? You have access to God Almighty. Talk to the lover of your soul on today. Thank him for the love that he is bringing into your life. And wait on him and be happy in the wait. And again, if you have the time, if you have the finances, um, yeah, figure out something to do for yourself today. Book a massage. Get your hair done. Go get your nails done. Gentlemen, massages for you as well. Go purchase yourself something that you've been looking at for quite some time. Spoil yourself today. Go out to dinner. Take yourself out to dinner. Let me tell you something. My friends from college all used to crack up at me because I tell you, I was the one to literally go to a fine dining establishment. Table of one, please. Table for one, please. I did not have to have anyone with me in order to go out and thoroughly enjoy myself. Movie theater, one ticket, please. I know how to celebrate me. I know how to um, really get into the importance of self-care and self-love. And to be perfectly candid with you, we love God first. We love ourselves we love others. That is the divine order of this thing. The Bible says to love your neighbor as you love yourself. So if you have not mastered the importance of loving God and the importance of loving yourself just yet, then you're not even ready for a relationship. Okay, those first two must come first. It's just a day. Don't let the enemy beat you up. Do not feel rejected. You are beautiful. You are perfect just the way you are. You are handsome. You are perfect just the way you are. You were made in the likeness and image of the most high God. You were fearfully and wonderfully made. He has made absolutely no mistakes on you. Do not allow the enemy of your soul to be all up in your ear and all up in your head about what you don't have on today, okay? And I did not want the day to go by without me coming on here and encouraging those of you who are connected to this ministry because I know what the enemy is doing on today. I'm fully aware. Um, but that's the thing. I've been single for so long that y you ain't gonna get me no more. You know what I mean? <laughs> I have absolutely been the one balled up crying, oh, I ain't got no Valentine. These days... Miss me with that, okay? Because before I have a fraudulent Valentine, I'd rather have no Valentine at all. And my prayer is that you get to that space as well if you're not there already, okay? you don't, If it ain't real, you don't want it, okay? You don't want no February 14th type of dude. You don't want no February 14th type of woman in your life, okay? You want to be connected and covenant to somebody who understands that every day is Valentine's Day, Okay? We show love every day. We express love every day. It's not just a one day thing, right? So that's what I have for you. I pray in the name of Jesus that you are comforted on today. Um, I pray that you are encouraged and God willing, I will see you next time.